Oh, it turns out you can see it. Okay. That's good. Go ahead. Go ahead right there. That works. Okay, we made a new frame for carrying a motor for our high banker. One for Paul. And we just use Unistrut and aluminum tubing like usual. We got these barrels. They're five gallon for free at a car wash. We got all of them for free. As many as we wanted. So if you want to get stupid people. <laughs> so if you want to get barrels for free, you can get them at a car wash. And it's, uh, how wide do we put it? 48. 48 wide. Yeah, we just made, we just cut them off 48 wide. So we got two pieces of Unistrut, the half inch from Home Depot in the electrical department. And we got 16 clamps, the one inch conduit clamps. Then we got two pieces of aluminum tubing. It's actually three quarter aluminum tubing. Yeah, okay, yeah, three, three quarter aluminum tubing. And so we got three quarter conduit clamps. And that's it. And we got this piece of aluminum plate here for the motor. That was uh, five bucks. You know, and it's all there. It's all good. So we even had 48 inches wide, just like the old uh, dredge we had, and we made it five feet long. Thereabouts, 58 inches long. You know, and so uh, yeah, you want to build one of these? Everything's right here. You can take a look at it. And the drums are free. It costs us a few bucks. Here. We even put handles on. Motorcycle, motorcycle handles, so we got handles for carrying it. Motorcycle grip. And so we'll just kind of zoom it in here. You got two handles in the back. Then, uh, of course, this is a brand new 5.5 we got online for 400 bucks. With shipping and everything, 400 and something, right around 430 or something like that. What was it, 435 you said? 425. 425, four and a quarter for the motor. Uh, Proline HP 350. And then there's our motorcycle handles for carrying it in. And we got to pull the, we promised the lady that we would pull these off the drums and clean them up. And I told him, well, they'll all be camouflaged when we get done. But this is probably good enough for right now. And so there's a nice brand new easily made frame. Took us about oh, 20 minutes to put together. <laughs> More like 30 minutes. Maybe 25, yeah. And uh, that was it. Just throw the clamps on. We screwed them down real quick, and there you go. Um, we got one of those? I guess we don't, huh? That doesn't work. Won't so work. we got the drums for free, okay? Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good lighting right there. Got the drums for free. We went on the, the wide side against here, against the frame. We bought two pieces of half inch Unistrut and that was on sale was 20 bucks total, $10 a piece. We got two pieces of, well actually one piece of 20 foot aluminum. That was like what, 20 bucks? Yeah, that's 20 bucks. So we got $40 in parts and then the clamps were like a buck and a half a piece. We got 16 clamps of the Unistrut clamps. You know, so that's uh, 24, 40. So we got like 65, you know, we got under 100 bucks into this frame. Because the drums are free, we got them at the car wash. So, so there's another good product, you know, easy product from us. Easy to make, four foot wide, five foot long, cheap and it'll carry anything. And with the five gallon buckets, I mean the uh, five gallon drums, we made them to where it's nice and, nice and short and uh, it was going to work great. We're going to go test it out. Well, we're out trying out the new system. We got the new floats and frame with a pump on it sitting here in the water. We're getting ready to start it up here pretty quick. Got the South Yuba High Banker running upstream, or it's going to be running when we get the pump going. And uh, so this is the trial run of the new motor and the uh, Proline HP 350 pump. So we're going to start it up and run. We'll take a look at it real quick. 
so you can see how it floats with the floats that we just made. I mean, you can judge it better than I can. My eyes are just not that great as usual, but so yeah, here we are without it running. It's just sitting. Oh yeah, it's probably almost halfway. It's like three inches in the in the water, so that's pretty good. Looks like we got this. Oh, this one end up here is sitting on a on a little tree limb, so it's forcing the other side deeper in the water. Then this side is basically just about to the handle. So yeah, well, when we started the water up, we purposely mounted the pump farther to that side, so when it starts up and the water's pumping. That hose is going to lay on there and bring this end down. So it should be fairly level, and if it's not, well, it'll be close enough for right now. So anyway, this is a pump we made down there at Paul's house. The plate and everything we drilled out, everything's all mounted, and we're ready to rock and roll. So we prime a little differently than most people. We don't sit there and just mess with that flapper valve on the intake. We just go ahead and pour the water right into the top of the pump. And that way it's primed, you put the hose on, start it up, and you're ready to go. So we just pour it in until it pops out. And yeah, it's leaking a little bit right here at the connection. No big deal. I mean, it's a pump, it's supposed to leak water anyway. But look at that, it's, just, it's floating just fine. That's perfect for flotation. You can, we can still take out those other two. There's no reason to have six floats. Four would be plenty. It's a sweet setup though, man. That it is. That it is. I like the six because pulling over rocks, it's not going to get hooked right yeah. in the middle. Yeah, it'll be nice. Just that easy carrying that thing. Told him it's like toting along a rickshaw. Yeah, it's nice and light, man. We're good. Yeah. For its first time out, it worked good. <laughs>